All right, welcome friends. Today, we're going to be taking a look at this new secret layer that came in recently. It is the Extra Life Ponies the Galloping 2 2023. Uh, first off, I should say we're trying a different uh, camera angle this time, so let me know what you think. Um, it gets me a little closer to the microphone, but it also gives you a better angle of opening the packs and the cards. Um, so let me know what you think. Hopefully you like it, get you even closer to the to the card action. All right, so um, before we dive into this, I think it's important to put a little context on this and look at this right here. So this is the original, the OG Ponies the Galloping Extra Life. So back in, let me, uh, let me see here if we can get a date. Ponies the Galloping, uh, I think it was 2019, if I'm not mistaken. Um, they created this Extra Life product. Um, I think this was before, before Secret Lair was really a thing. And so this might have been one of the first test runs of direct-to-consumer sales. Because um, this was a product that you picked up directly from, from Wizards of the Coast, I believe as an Extra Life, which is their um, gaming-based uh, charity that, that Wizards of the Coast and some others also support. Um, and then you picked up these and you got shipped these uh, these cards. Now, I actually bought this secondhand um, off, uh, off eBay uh, a few years ago because um, I missed out on the initial sale, um, but then I wanted to pick one up. So I think I bought this box uh, in this condition for about 150 um, at the time, which I thought was crazy, but um, you know, I was a, kind of a what I was watching ponies with my kids, and I knew how fervent the fan base is, um, so I thought this would be a good buy, and it turned out to be a pretty good buy because now these cards pretty much are consistently going up five percent each week, kind of thing, where Princess Twilight Sparkle herself goes for uh, 100 150. And the others are in the 40s to 60s range as well. Um, so I thought it would be interesting to take a look. This is the original product. Um, you can see it comes with three cards. Uh, Princess Twilight Sparkle herself. Uh, they are all silver bordered cards. So they are not certainly not tournament legal or anything like that. And the rules make them pretty tricky to play with in all but the most casual of settings. Um... But uh, they got some proper art, they're foil, um, they are alicorns, they have their own set symbol, which is great. Uh, there's also a fan favorite, Rarity, um, who, if you know anything about the, the lore of this, the show, uh, is a hairstylist, and does hair salon and, and uh, fashion. And then uh, Nightmare Moon, who is one of the OG villains slash... Uh, side characters as this is a transform card it flips over and turns into princess luna which you can see on the included insert so it shows four cards because nightmare moon slash luna are the same card there um so i never took these out of the box uh, i never saw a need to i actually really appreciate this packaging i think they did a great job they added the, the hearts for the ponies, and they got them all shown nice, so you can look and enjoy the cards while also keeping them nice and safe in their premium-feeling packaging, right? So, the original Extra Life Ponies of Galloping, I think, is a great product. I think they did a fantastic job with this, making it feel like a real nice special release, like you're getting, getting good value for your money. Alright, so we'll put that off to the side here. And then, second half of last year, I think in the fall time frame, they announced that they were doing a second set of the Galloping. Um, so this is the Galloping 2 2023 traditional foils, so they're going to be all bendy. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's take a look and see what four years <laughs> difference makes. No longer do we have a special unique box. Uh, just for the ponies, where the cards are shown without having to break it open. 
Uh, no longer do you have uh, this nice plastic feel with the sleeve and the insert and the nicest there. You have a traditional secret layer box since it has been rolled into the secret layer product. Um, so yeah, let's let's dive open into the secret layer. Magic of friendship doesn't just exist in Equestria, it's everywhere. Ah, okay, so at least we have a fairly unique inside box. Now, I appreciate it when Secret Lair does this, it's kind of like what they did for the um, Princess Bride and the Doctor Who ones, where instead of just the black Secret Lair, they make a nice custom. Secret Lair sleeve, in this case with My Little Pony, the uh, Gen 3 logo on it, um, as long as with the Applejack cutie marks and Rainbow Dash and the like. Yes, I know, I know about ponies. I've watched all of Gen 3 and a little bit of Gen 4 with my kids. They are big ponies fans. Um, and so I am I'm in the know on the ponies. Would not say I'm an expert. But I know my Rainbow Dash from my Applejack, from my Pinkie Pie, I must say. Alright, so let's see, how do we get this sleeve off, alright. Okay, so now, after our plastic sleeve, we have back to our traditional, quote-unquote, secret layer blank box. Not very surprising there. And then the presentation inside is much like all the rest of the... Well, I must say, we didn't get an envelope for the secret layer. At least we got a box. But those seem to be the two styles of secret layers they do today, where you get a, a box like this, or you get the envelope where they just loose, have a couple loose cards inside. <laughs> At least this is one of the more deluxe secret layers in that we have um, an actual box to go off. Okay, so these things are always really stuck on here, and I... Trying to be very careful and not ruin the cards here. Good gracious, they really don't want these cards moving. How about we get our old trusty knife out instead and do a little cheat action. Okay. Bear with me as I try to be careful. Oh my goodness, I am butchering this. As I try to be gentle with these cards. All right. Cool. So let's see what we got. Uh, we'll put our boring box over here. Put our pony sleeve over here. Um, and let's see. Okay, so start off with our Applejack. Uh, I appreciate that um, we have the galloping symbol again. So in theory, it's part of the same <laughs> quote unquote set as the previous ponies. Um, although we have some unique um, apple symbols, I don't think we're on the other cards. I don't remember them having anything unique at the top. Oh, wait, no, they have their cutie marks at the top. I'm mistaken. Look at that. I didn't even notice it. Yep, pretty, pretty faithful to the original galloping design. That's cool. I'm glad they didn't deviate. I thought these did a great job of representing the cards. Believing in, in something. Can't help you do amazing things. Thanks, Applejack. They made her a beefy 4-4. And they gave her an ability that resonates with family. Cool. That's great. Alright, so Applejack. Big fan. Alright, next we have Fluttershy. Got that traditional foil. It's not yet bendy, so that's good. I'm sure that'll that'll come. <laughs> oh, interesting. She is not a pony. She is a Pegasus. Huh. -huh. Whereas I didn't realize Rarity was a unicorn. So they actually have different subtypes. I thought it would have been like legendary creature pony Pegasus or pony. Unicorn, but I didn't miss that. Alright, so she is Defender and Flying. 
Makes total sense. She has no attack. Well, I guess you haven't seen Fluttershy get angry. Um, each teacher creature with a tail. Nice. My sanctuary can be the one place in Equestria critters call home. So that's our Fluttershy. That's an interesting card design. All right, Pinkie Pie with her awesome party cannon. <laughs> She's a red and yellow, or white rather, awesome. Uh, two two. Whenever a spell, whenever you cast a spell with a smile and its art, create a tap treasure token. Sweet. Gee, hey, do you know what this calls for? A party. Your party consists of each creature control, and your party is always full. Oh, man. You know, that's actually a pretty solid card if you're playing with the old uh, D&D party mechanics. That's kind of fun. All right, so she's also a pony. She's also mythic. Um, looks like they have the secret lair set numbers on these, which I don't think they did on the galloping, so that's interesting. But they do have the nice heart-shaped uh, quality symbol. All right, Pinkie Pie. And our girl, Rainbow Dash. Let's take a look at Rainbow Dash. She is also a red and white. She is a Pegasus, of course. She has haste, of course. Whenever you can treat your control, flying your haste attacks, you get... 200% cooler. I mean, you can't argue with that. If you're at least 100%, sorry, 20% cooler, sorry. If you're at least 100% cool, you can add, whoo, man, <laughs> that's a fun card. Rainbow Dash is rocking. She's one of the more usable um, cards, again, if you're in the right, right environment here. All right, so that's our four promised friends that make up the last of the main six, along with Princess Twilight Sparkle and along with Rarity. Um, if we compare them, let's see. Yeah, so they don't have the secret lair designation, which is not a surprise because I don't think that existed at the time. They have the Ponies the Gathering PTG as their set symbol, two of three. Um, Interesting. Yeah, 2019 Wizards of the Coast. I'm reading that right. All right, and I do think there's a secret card. So let's let's take a moment here. I actually have managed to not get this spoiled for me. I don't know if that's because I'm the only one who bought this set and no one I, I follow online actually has this and has spoiled it, or if uh, I've just been very diligent about it. Let's see what our secret card is. It is. Discord, Lord of Disharmony. My goodness, now that's that's a cool villain to include. That's a nice secret. So he's a Chimera, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's take a good look at Discord here. That's neat. All right, so he is flying. He's a three five. Fair enough. At the beginning of your end step, choose a random non-land magic card name. To your next end step, you may cast a copy of the spell with that name. And mana of any type can be spent to cast it. Oh my goodness. Nicely done. Oh, what fun is there in making sense? Discord's a great character. Again, one of the OG villains of uh, of uh, Friendship is Magic, uh, voiced by uh, everyone's favorite Q character from Star Trek The Next Generation, of course. Um, and uh, he does a fantastic job as Discord Lord of Disharmony. So, now we have eight cards that are part of the galloping unofficially because I'm counting these even though these ones show secret layer I'm counting them as part of the, the 
part of the galloping. <laughs> um, I think that's neat. What could we see in future gallopings if they so desire? Um, which I guess depends entirely on how this one did. Uh, I would like to see, let's think. Um, maybe a uh, Princess Celestia. We have not had a Princess Celestia. We've had Princess Luna and Nightmare Moon, but no Princess Celestia. Uh, I think that'd be neat. I think having Spike the Dragon would be pretty sweet. Um, he's a bit dragon whelp, a baby dragon. Spoiler, he's also a full-grown dragon in the next series. Um, I think maybe having some of the more side characters. Or maybe some more of the villains. That'd be neat. Uh, we could have Trex. We could have... Um, I'm trying to think who else would be there. Uh, uh, Trixie. Um, any of those kind of villains would be interesting. But definitely a big, big missing in, uh, in Spike. The poor guy does not get included in the main six enough. And big missing on Celestia. Now that I sound like a complete pony nerd. Apologies for that. Um, I hope you enjoy this, this set. Um, if you picked it up, I hope you like it as well. Thank you for donating to Extra Life. Uh, it's a great uh, it's a great charity, um, and I think they do good work. So thank you for donating that. And uh, Leah, let's see how this one does over time. If it continues to kind of blow up like uh, like our friends in the, in the original Galloping do. Um, could be interesting that there's a I think an underappreciated ponies fandom out there that uh, that asking to be satiated, and uh, this scratches the little itch, but uh, is only only the beginning of what they could do if they dived into My Little Pony. Um, I expect this will be the end of the iteration. I think, although it is also another Hasbro product. I don't think they, they, uh, they're going to go much farther than this. But uh, either way, what a great concept. What a great way to do Extra Life. Um, and as always, I think they've done a fantastic job putting care into the, the cards they created, ensuring that they have a good theme and that they're, they're, they're nice quality. I mean, the traditional flows that aren't even bending, so that's pretty nice. Only bummer. Uh, I would say is that although it's one of the nicer modern secret secret layer boxes, that's for sure. Um, I would say the presentation is not as nice as the original set. Um, it uh, doesn't have that same feel of, of quality and of uniqueness. Um, it's just another secret layer that happens to have a nice box. Um, it happens to tie into a previous non-secret layer release so that's the only drawback other than that i think it's a, a home run for any piff any even mild pony fan like i am um and anyone who wants to spend their money on buying magic card while also supporting extra life uh, thanks for watching like and subscribe please let me know what you think of the new camera angle uh initial take is i think it works well when looking at cards but less so looking down at this angle um but yeah let me know what you think in the comments and like and subscribe thanks for watching